visitors, the Ebb Stadium, the home of the Shots. Please welcome onto the field the match officials and the players of Dorking Wanderers and all the Shot Town. The Shots line up as follows. Van Stappershoef in goal, Harfield, Harris and Monoga the centre-back. Glover, the left wing-back, Frost the right wing-back, Willard and Widrington in centre midfield and Josh Barrett playing behind Lauren Tolage and James Daly. That's better. I think that'll work. That'll work good. That's it. Push that in. That's it. Thank you very much indeed. We're underway here at the UBB. Shots kicking towards the High Street community stand end in the first half. Yeah, I mean, he's there predominantly for pace, I imagine, um, to cut out this sort of like transition like we were talking about at the beginning. Um, and him and Isaac both give him that in the back line. Um, and they've given it away here. Craig plays it into Barrett. He's inside the area and he scores. The shots are ahead inside the first two minutes. It's Josh Barrett's first ever goal in this spell for Aldershot Town. Tolage it was that played him in. Another assist for the Swiss striker. And the nightmare start for Wanderers. The perfect start for Aldershot Town. Shots one. Dorking nil, Ross McNeely. Yeah, I mean, you could call it a transition goal, but I think that's been really kind. Harrison has been, I mean, he's been excellent all season and, and he's kept him in many, many games, but that's a bit of a, he's, he's clipped it, he's gone to clip it wide to Bobby Joy, who's gone wide and it's been cut out in a good finish from Josh Barrett, really. Not, uh, not a great start, a team lacking confidence. Dorking Wanderers, and it'll be interesting how they react here. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens. I'll come back to you because all the shot are on the uh, attack, Barrett. Glover, Glover back to Harfield. Harfield's running down the left side with Cool alongside him. Manages to get his crossing. Touchdown by Daly to Tolad. Shot. Oh. Parried away. A quite brilliant save from Harrison Mail in the 13th minute. It should have been 2 0 shots, but for Harrison Mail, he's rarely going to play 90 minutes. He's not going to get box to box, but he's got a lovely touch. He's shown another touch again there, and he's fed Willard. Willard spreads it out to the left hand side to Tolad. Tolad back into Willard in the area. Tries a. Oh, shot is just across mail and then just past his left-hand post and just wide. I mean, what, what is interesting, though, when he gives it away in those short distances, all the shots are quick to react. There's three or four bodies suddenly around the player, so I didn't quite get it there, but the reaction to counter-press has, has been really, really good in the certain, certainly in the first half an hour. Well, is Mewitt down the right-hand side in front of the Dorking fans on the slab. Can he get his cross in? Yes, he can. Can Pryor get on the end of it? Oh. Well, he prior didn't quite make contact. Bowerman did make some, and it sort of deflected and bounced awkwardly. No foul given. Frost heads it inside, but only can find Jason Pryor. And there's a good win from Widrington. Plays the ball in, looking for Tolad. He's got the ball. He slipped away from Craig. Shoots under. Cleared off the line by Isaac Philpot. Mail got enough on it to take some purchase off the shot. And, and Isaac Philpott cleared it, should be 2-0. Chesterfield have equalised against Kidderminster and it's half-time there. Here is Aaron Cool with the free kick into the shots area. Headed oh, back across. Oh. Really Just good move as well, you from know. Dorking. Again. Yeah, the header, the, 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 the free kick come in, Fuller headed it back across and it was Philpott that headed it over the bar. It was yeah. a lovely move. Got it the target, hasn't it? I mean, he's about five, six yards out for a header, so... First half and... Just that second-minute goal at the moment separates the sides. Josh Barrett with his first shots goal of this spell. Here's Tolledge down the left, sends in across. Daly can't quite get on it. Back to Frost on the edge. Gets a volley in, but it's headed clear. Willard sends it back in. Daly's got it. What a volley! Oh, oh and what a save again. Harrison Mail to the rescue. It's sort of shot down one, Dorking Wanderers nil, but Harrison Mail has kept Wanderers in it again, Ross. Yeah, what a save. I mean, what a, I mean, what a strike, by the way. I mean, he's spinning as well as he was as he sort of chests it down on the edge of the box. He's not even facing goal and he sort of spins around. Left foot, great strike. Almost almost right in the middle of the goal, but good save. Dealt with it well. In amongst that big management team at Dorking, have they got a set piece coach? Yeah, haven't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Carl and James. James will do uh, defensive set pieces and Carl will do attacking offensive set pieces. So, in comes yeah. the corner. Van Stappershoef grabs it. And for once, the team haven't put a player on Van Stappershoef. So, he's free to get it. And he's rolled it out to Tolage. 
Toledge skips inside of Taylor and splots it to Frost on the right-hand side. He's into the penalty area, tries a shot. Oh, and another incredible save. Harrison Mayle. Well, I was going to say having the game of his life, but he's been doing it all season, yeah, yeah, Ross. he literally has been doing it all season. It's not... It is the norm. Yeah, again, Tolage ball carrier, beats a, wins a 1v1. Straight away, it goes, the pitcher goes from being a 4v4 to sort of a... A 4v3 because he manages to dominate that 1v1 centrally, so then finds Tyler out wide and probably should shoot more across. Good height for Harrison, good save. Farnborough, 1 0 down at Tunbridge at the break, have scored twice. They're now 2 1 up. There you go, 1v1. And uh, here's Glover, 1 on 1 against Mew in the air. Skips to his right, gets room for the shot, and it smashes into the side netting. He really caught it well. It was a blistering shot, but it was just no more than a foot or so wide of the mark and on this occasion Harrison Mayle not required a cracking strike again but just a foot or so wide. Hadji has proved his worth this afternoon not not just in his defensive qualities but that that one against two which he came out uh, on top of was was a crucial interjection but also his athleticism in launching attacks from the back it's something that has been a key feature of Aldershot Town's play this season and now James Daly's in. He's trying to get in, he's poked it towards goal and it's side netting again. An order shot appeal for something more, but they're not going to get it. Referee Richie Watkins has given a goal kick. We're going to have a big kick from Mayle out to the right-hand side. Glover can't win it cleanly in there and it goes inside to Rutherford. Rutherford battling away, half-field at the back of him. Gives it to Mewitt, Mewitt shoots, it's half-cleared. And then it's oh, followed up again, second shot by Alfie Rutherford and it's in the net. Scrappy moment at the back for shots. Dawkins got the deflections that they worked hard for. And Alfie Rutherford has got the goal. 75 minutes gone. Aldershot down one. Dawkins Wanderers one. I mean, that's come from obviously Harrison Mill. Direct ball into uh, Jimmy Mewitt. Jimmy's flicked it on. And a bit of uncertainty in the back three. And Alfie's run onto it. Like Alfie does in behind. Gets onto it. And obviously finished it in off a, off, off a block shot as well. Think, uh, who got that finish? Jimmy got the Jimmy uh, got the rather f got the finish. Yeah, yeah after that's Jimmy's it. blocked shot. That's it. You got it. Is the pendulum swinging towards the Wanderers? Never right off the Wanderers is the catchphrase, and you can't do it. They wouldn't lay down. Uh, their noses were bloodied, literally in uh, Barry Fuller's case. Got and it's Carter battling away from the ball, going in. Oh, oh he should have scored. Should be two Saved one. by the feet should of be Jordi two Van Stapperschuf. Touch from Daly to nick the ball. Willard spreads it to Tolage, touches it to Stokes. Stokes back to Tolage. He's got Frost on the outside of him, but he comes forward. Strokes it to Daly on the edge of the area. Goes back to Willard. Uh, good movement, good interplay from the shots. Now out to Glover on the left-hand side. Glover back on his right foot. Cross comes in, little double deflection. And then hit over the bar. Incredibly from James Daly from six yards out. In truth, he swung his leg and volleyed it. But the goal was gaping, and somehow he lifted it a foot over the bar. And uh, Charlie Carter since had a golden opportunity to put um, Dawkins ahead. Excellent. They're on the attack now. Charlie Carter squares it to Jason Pry. He's going to try a shot from distance. It's beaten away by Van Stappershaw. If it was a good shot, it was on target. It was. And it was a really good save. Willard holding it up. Goes back to Haji Minoga, slips, gets up again, carries on with the ball, feeds Harry's. Harry's with another ball to Minoga. Can he take it under control? Twists, turns, gets up off the floor again, strokes it out to the right side to Willard. Willard to Frost. All shot have to get the ball into the box here. Back to Willard. Willard's going to send it in, and it comes. Tollard! Oh, oh, it's the save of the that. lot from Harrison Mayle. He climbs high up to his left and tips it over the bar. And it's been a one-man <laughs> shot-stopping performance from Harrison Mayle. Incredibly corner to shot. We're into added time at the end of added time. And the referee's just going to say, get on with it. And fair play to him. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of time. Oh, I what thought we might be seeing red there from the way that was all going on. But there is the final whistle. Huge Brewing. credit to Dorking Wanderers. Huge credit to Harrison Mayle, who's kept Wanderers in it. And huge credit to Alfie Rutherford coming off the bench and getting the equaliser. The shots led from the second minute. Josh Barrett with his first goal for the shots, but they couldn't put the game to bed, largely thanks to Harrison Mayle. Both sides desperate for a win, Ross. Both sides 
couldn't afford to lose. And what often happens in that situation, a draw, one all.